Hi boys and girls, our letter for today is the letter Z. Capital Z and lowercase z. Z is actually the very last letter, the 26th letter of the alphabet. It's not our last letter for the year, but it is the letter at the end of the alphabet. And the sound Z makes is Z. And here's our friend for the letter Z. We always reveal who bought the Z house. There he is in the middle. His name is Zach the Zany Zebra. And Zany means Zach likes to be silly. He likes to make people laugh. So he does silly things. He likes words like zipper, zigzag. And if you notice when you go zigzag, you kind of go up and down and all around. If you're driving zigzag, you're possibly going to get into an accident. That's the word zigzag. And down here in this picture here, it shows Zach doing one of his favorite things. He's playing a musical instrument that starts with the letter Z. And it's a zither. And it's really tricky. I don't think I've ever even seen one. But when this lesson is over, I'm going to give you an idea of how you might want to make one at home during the week so you can think about the letter Z. Zach's car is a zucchini with a zipper off the back with a capital and lowercase z. Zach is very zany and I'm gonna play his song so you can get an idea of some of the things he likes. I'm the zany zebra. I like the letter Z. I can zig, I can zip, I can zoom in the air. There's not another letter like it anywhere. I'm Zach, the zany zebra. I like the letter Z. If you're feeling really chipper, just say Zach said zoom in zipper. And I'll sing this zany zebra song for you. <laughs> I'm Zach, the zany zebra. I live down at the zoo. Some days I get so lonely, I'd really like a visit from you. If you'll bring me some zucchini, when you visit the zoo, it'll make me very chipper. I'll say Zach said zoom in zipper. And sing this zany zebra song for you. <laughs> Boys and girls, he likes his zipper and it makes him chipper. That means it makes him happy. That's a word of one of our rhyming words. Speaking of making us happy, we see two friends here at the flannel board that we met some time ago here at Tiny Tots. This is Zig and this is Zag. Their names start with the letter Z. And Zig and Zag are, if you said opposites, that's correct. We had lots of fun with Zig and Zag. When Zig said up, Zag said down. When Zig said open, Zag said close. That's just a quick review on opposites. But getting back to our letter Z, I'm going to play our vocabulary game and I'm going to see if you can guess some of our special words for the letter Z. Where did Zag live? He lived down at the zoo. If you said zoo, that's correct. He said he gets some lonely sometimes. He'd like a visitor. He wanted you to bring him some. It was a vegetable that starts with the letter Z. If you said zucchini, you are right. So we have zoo and zucchini. 
He really likes a word that rhymes with chipper. His favorite thing is a zipper. Zack is a very special animal. Sometimes they call him a striped horse, black and white. But Zack is a zebra. Zack likes to go from side to side. He likes to, the funny word, it's two words, and it's our friends' names here, Zig and Zag. This is what zigzags look like. They almost look like a bunch of Z's. You start at the top, slide down, slide on the bottom, and keep going to make a zigzag line. Now the last one is the number that means nothing, number zero. And since I'm running out of room, I'm gonna let Zag hold that number zero for me. So we have the zoo, zucchini, zipper, zebra, zigzag, and zero. Now we have a story from Mr. Pencil, the zippity zoo story that we listen to when we meet a new letter. We have two more zebras in the story. This is Zach and this is Zelda. And they're gonna go on a trip. It's called the zippity zoo. Big books and singing in Letterland. Let's take one last trip through Zippity Zoo to say goodbye to our Frog Street friends. Oh, could we? Great idea. Let's take a trip to Zanzibar away across the sea where there's zillions of things that begin with Z like Zelda the zebra and Zachary too. Zipped up in stripes at the Zippity Zoo. We're going to conclude today's lesson with a few ideas of some things you may want to do at home to practice the letter Z and the sound Z makes is Z as in zipper. Maybe your mom or dad or someone in your family can help you get out a jacket and you can practice doing your zipper, your jacket all by yourself so when you go to kindergarten you'll be able to zip your own jacket. Another idea is they say about the zinnia flowers. And you can make some zigzag zinnias at home. Get out your markers and just make the zigzag lines with all different colors, put a little stem on it, and make a drawing for someone in your family, a zigzag zinnia. Another great idea, weather permitting, is to get out your sidewalk chalk 
and make some zigzag lines all through the maybe your driveway or if you have a sidewalk where you're allowed to play and you can maybe tiptoe through the zigzag lines hop take giant steps or maybe you could think of something else it would be lots of fun weather permitting and get outside and get some fresh air if you can't get outside you can get some masking tape and do the zigzag lines. And here's some zigzag lines here. It looks like the letter Z. So you can get your tape and practice making your Zs on the carpet. And I don't think it would cause too much problems with your family. You could just take the tape off at when you're done making your lines. One last idea is I know we have our zoo here at Tiny Tots. And I know we like to build our, with our blocks. So get out your blocks and make a very zany, like Zach did, zoo. Get out maybe some of your stuffed animals or if you have some plastic animals like we have, do have here at Tiny Tots, you can get out your animals and you can build a zany zoo. You might want to get very imaginative and make maybe a gift shop or a snack bar. Maybe you can even get a zoo train like we have over at Tiny Tots. Over on our shelf over there, we have the zoo train with the giraffe and the elephant. So you can get out your blocks and use your imagination and create a zany zoo. So boys and girls, I hope you have lots of fun with the letter Z, and we'll talk again real soon.